This one's going to be on MPS YouTube. It's a command line program to watch YouTube videos. So, I'll show you how it works here. Uh, install it and just type in MPS YT. And um, to search, all you got to do is type in slash here, right, in the search term. So, just type in slash. Let's say you search for uh, Linux, right, and these are the videos. So, if I want to watch one of these, uh, for example, which one should we watch? Let's say number uh, one here. And I'll bust out with your M player. And there you go, it's busting out the video here. And just hit escape once you don't want to watch anymore. Um, and I'll go back to this screen here and you can choose another one. So let's say for example we'll search, uh, or number 11 here, we'll use this one. So 11, and I'll bust out another video. There we go. Hit escape, you're done with that. Uh, if you want to go to the next page, you hit N and you hit enter. So that's the next page. So you can see it says page two right here, right? And you hit N again, it'll go to page three, and so on and so forth. If you want to go backwards, you type in P for previous, right? And then go back to page two, and then you go to page one, you type in P, and you're back to page one here. So that's how you do that, not that hard. Um, if you want to search, right, right now we're searching for, um, if you ever want to search, you type in slash. Let's say, for example, we search for music or something like that, right? Uh, and that's how you search for the videos. Now, if you want to search for a playlist, for example, if I type in slash slash here, and this indicates that you're searching for a playlist. Um, so let's search for a playlist of Linux. And there you go, this is the playlist of the Linux. And if you want to go into that one, let's say number two here, some comp T, T uh, here, and you hit the, uh, you know, in that playlist, it'll give you all the videos in that one. So, for example, if I want to play number four or something, uh, it'll play from that playlist here, right? So, that's it for that. Not that difficult. Uh, other things you can do, if you type in help, they'll give you the help page here. Um, if you want to look at, what is that? Uh, well, you don't have to type out the whole thing like help here. You can just type in H and I'll do the same thing. So H and same thing for all, all these other topics here. So these are the topics, the one in yellow here. Uh, you don't have to type out the whole word. Just type in the first few letters like BAS or something like that for basic. And I'll give you uh, options you can do in here. So if you ever want to download a video, um, uh, you can do that. So for example, Let's search for um, my videos here. Let's search for my playlist first. And let's use number one, all right, for this one. And let's say I wanted to download this uh, video here, number one here. Uh, just type in one. Oh no, that's for playing videos, I forgot. Uh, for downloading videos, you type in D for download, and then one, all right. And this one, we'll look at the information and they'll give you different formats you can download as. Okay, so if you're using like, I don't know, um, an iPod or, or like Android or something, you want MP4s or something like that. And they give you the resolution of it, uh, the format. And if you want just audio only, because sometimes, you know, you just want to uh, get the music out of it. So this is audio only here, right? As opposed to all these other ones are, you know, videos. And this one's for like those old ass mobile phones. Anyways, if I want to download, um, let's say the first one here, an MP4 here, right? I just type in one uh, and then enter. And I'll download to your uh, downloads folder, MPS folder. So I'll we'll wait for it to uh, finish in five seconds here. Uh, so there it goes. It downloads it to our um, download MPS folder here. So all you gotta do is go to um, that folder. So this is our folder here, right? Download MPS, and we'll list it out here. And there's our video, uh, and that's how you would save it. Uh, you know, whether you download video or audio is up to you. Not that difficult. Uh, so that's how you do that. So let's type in help again. I do have some other options in here. Um, so that's the downloads, and let's say you go into configurations here, right? We'll skip all the other ones, not really that important. But you're gonna use this configuration here. So you type in H and then Kong fig here. 
And in here, you can actually do a couple things. So if you want to use this program just to listen to music only, um, you can do that by suppressing the uh, video, right? So if you do show video here, set show video, and you can type in true or false if you want, or you can use uh, one and zero for true and false, right? So if I say this one is false, um, and I just type in zero. Now, whenever you play a video, it'll actually just uh, not show the video, it'll just play the audio only. Um, so, not that difficult. So, for example, if I search for my videos, well, let's search for my playlist first here. And let's say I do number three for number two stuff, I did a long time ago. And if I wanted to watch, uh, I don't know, this one here, number seven. It will actually not play the video, it will just, uh, you know, play the audio only. So you see there's no video, but it will play the audio, okay. So that's how you do that. And once you're done with that, just go back to help. And you got to help pig here. So if you want to back uh, to videos, you do set video, uh, show video to one again. And this one will be true. And you can do any of these other ones. So for example, if you want your results to be uh, right now I set it to 15 but if you want more you do set you know max results to I don't know um, 5 right so whenever you search for stuff now let's say music here it only show you 5 only right at a time uh, that's pretty good if you know you have uh, a small monitor or something like that or you have large fonts you might want to decrease it so you don't have to go scroll up and scroll down every time uh, anything else here? Let's go back to our config here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for doing that part. Not, you know, or if you want this other one here for full screen, because sometimes when you want to open a video, you want it full screen. So you can do a set full screen equals uh, true or false. So we do one is for true, and I'll say full screen here is true, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it for the program in a nutshell. Now they do have some other uh, command line options. Since this one is actually already started in uh, the MPS program. Because usually you just type in MPS YouTube. Right. And uh, to quit out of this you usually type in or press control C. You do that twice and it will exit the program. Now, if you want to search uh, directly from the command line, you just type in MPSYT and you slash and you type in music, right? And it'll actually automatically uh, search for it. Um, same thing with the playlist. If you want to search for music playlist, you type in double slashes and that will do that. And it'll search for the playlist. Um, other direct command line thing you can do. If you want to do like a uh, user that you want, let's say for me, I type in user and the name of the user. So I type in my name here, and it'll automatically uh, show you know all my videos that I uploaded recently, right? And I can use end for next, and then next, and all that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. They do have one for playlists if you want to do uh, a you know URL of the playlist, but you can figure it out on your own. Anyways, that is it for the program, and if you want to install it, it's not in your repository, so you have to use the pip installer, and if you don't know how to use the pip installer, just uh, watch my old video on it. I'll post you a link in the description, and you should be able to install it. Anyways, that's how you, you use uh, MPS YouTube uh, from the command line. That'll be it for this one.